Mark Boyle is in the WRAL Live Center with more on the mayor's announcement. Mark? In less than eight hours from now, Lena, indoor mask mandate and carry will be no more. The mayor talking about this late this afternoon. This is part of the announcement talking about how the mask will no longer be required inside. All right, Gerald, what do you think about all of this? I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm sticking to my legal pad. I don't know about all of that, honestly. You know, it's 2021. That takes me back to the Star Trek days when you would <laughs> get in the transporter and go down to a planet. I don't, you know, <laughs> Zuckerberg has a lot of money. It's a big company, but it does sound a bit uh, far-fetched. I think they still do need real news anchors and reporters, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying it. I'm just putting it out there. Well, we'll see what happens, Mark. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm Mark Boyle in the WRAL Live Center this afternoon. Within the past 30 minutes, President Biden wrapping up a speech and a conversation with journalists overseas in Glasgow. This is uh, what it looked like here as we got the feeds into the Live Center, talking about climate change, speaking with world leaders about what's done in order to curb the ongoing problem. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRAL Live Center. Right now, that CDC panel is voting on approving Pfizer's vaccines for kids 5 to 11 years old. These are the panel members right here. They're going down, giving any objections to this, and then voting yes or no. I want to show you on the screen here what they're doing and what we're talking about. Big vote from the CDC panel within the past 30 seconds. 14 yeses. Zero knows the vaccine is approved. Pfizer's kids vaccine, five to 11 years old. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRAL Live Center, less than 30 minutes away from a briefing in Boise, Idaho. This is the headline that's gotten national attention this afternoon. Five people and a police officer injured in a shooting. It is believed the suspect in this case is in custody. This is some new video just into the Live Center that shows where this is all happening in front of that mall. This is just the most recent mass shooting at a large place, this time a mall. Investigators are not sure exactly what happened leading up to this shooting and the injuries of those involved. We'll certainly keep you updated as that information is expected before 630 here tonight. Back to you.